Hi, my name is Dana and I'm one of the aquarists here at Sea Life Sydney Aquarium. I'm here at our dugong exhibit, which is a very tropical exhibit, home to a lot of animals that you'll see around our Great Barrier Reef. Now the Great Barrier Reef is some of the largest reef systems we have in the world and it's home to an incredible diversity of animals. So behind me here you might be able to see some stingrays swimming around. These are oscillated eagle rays and they get the name eagle ray because they can leap and fly out of the water spreading their wings like an eagle. Now they have these beautiful spot patterns on their back and their white underbellies known as counter shading. So that dark coloration on the top and then the light coloration on the bottom helps them camouflage from either predators from above or predators from below. Now this species of ray constantly swims. They don't stop swimming, unlike other species of ray that we may have already spoken about. And the reason being is because they live in a very open, reefy environment. These girls are known as pelagic swimmers. And here's Annie here swimming around, showing us what she does best. Another animal that lives in our tropical reefy environment is the dugong. You might be able to see our amazing male dugong pig behind me here and his incredible tail that you can see. Now that fluke shaped tail that he has is designed to be out in those oceanic environments like those reefs up north. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to point out another really cool reef species bamboo shark. Now this little guy here has joined us and this is a bamboo shark, one of our adults in this ocean area. So this guy here is almost fully grown, they are only a small species of shark. And the reason they get the name bamboo shark is because when they're born they are striving just like the bamboo shark. Now these guys are also really cool and something I love about them is that they lay eggs and their eggs often get called mermaid purses. Now their eggs are only very little and in an oval shape and they are covered in this algae looking material that helps them latch onto rocks and protects that eggs until it's ready to hatch. Now I know I've talked a lot about ray species, I've also mentioned our dugong, bamboo sharks, but another really cool species is our blue tang surgeon fish, also known as dory. Now you guys might recognise Dory, she is a beautiful blue colouring with a bright yellow tail and we do have lots of them here at Dugong Island in our reef exhibit and that's because they are a really popular animal that lives amongst our coral reefs here up in North Queensland. Now the blue tang surgeon fish gets their name because they have this scalpel like blade on the base of their tail that's as sharp as a surgeon's scalpel. Now they use that in order to protect themselves from predators but also to defend their territory from other fish. So thank you for joining us here today guys at Sea Life Sydney Aquarium. Sorry that you couldn't be with us but we hope to see you again next time.